Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today, what we're going to do is a car tour of my brand new bright yellow Beetle convertible. Um, I made a video of it like a couple of weeks ago. I literally had this car two weeks today. Um, so yeah, I, I know a lot of you, especially over on Instagram, wanted to see a car tour and how I just, you know, maneuver in here. Um, I will say this is a 2013 VW Beetle classic condition, um, addition, not condition, addition. Um, it is bigger than the OG, um, new Beetle. And obviously I needed more space. Um, and it fits everything I need to fit in here perfectly. Um, for who guys are just watching, who are just stumbling upon my channel. Hi, I'm Shelby. I have a service dog and I also sometimes require the use of a wheelchair because I have a heart condition, um, that will make me collapse, <laughs> especially on hot days. So I do have my wheelchair back there. Um but I don't need it all the time, just sometimes, like a couple times out of the week. Um, but the last time I used it was last Friday, today's Monday, and I just haven't taken it out of here. Um, and a lot of people wanted to know how I get it in and out um, without like ruining my car or my wheelchair. Um, so anyways, if you guys wanna see the features of my new car, just keep watching. Okay, here's an overview. I was using this as a tripod, so ignore that. Um, but it's yellow, it's yellow inside and it's obviously yellow outside. And here's my dog, Stas, um, my purse and everything. And once we're done, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the top down and all of that fun jazz. Okay, so I just turned it off. It is a push to start. My push to start is here, so it's not here, it's here. Um, and to turn it on, you just push your foot on the brake and you push it on. Um, some, ugh, you gotta hold your foot down. Um, and this will say, welcome to your VW Beetle. And this will just say, welcome to Volkswagen. I like that, I like that a lot. Um, so my interior is black leather. So my seats are leather. Um, all of this stuff is leather. Um, steering wheels, leather, which is really, really nice, which I didn't know I would like until I got it, but it's nice. Um, yeah. There's dogs barking. I did tell myself if I got a new car, I would not get cream interior. My last Beetle was all cream, um, because before I got my service dog, it was just me driving around. Now I drive my service dog around everywhere, obviously. Um, and I will say the black leather is really, really nice. Um, and I've already had this car for two weeks and it's already getting really dirty. So I need to get it to the car wash. So anyways, up here is like all the like trinket things. Um, this button just controls all of this stuff. But I like to keep it on miles per hour. Um, this is theory for your car I'm not going to turn that on because the last time I did not know how to turn it off but anyways you just click it and it's Siri for your car so you go Siri call whoever whoever or do whatever and it'll pop up um phone thingy I don't know what these are um and this is just how you turn your radio up and down um I have cruise control never used cruise control in my whole like 10 years of driving um my car have interior lights so here and under here will glow up whatever color you put it on. I have mine on red, um, but it can also go blue or white. I know some other cars have different colors, but I just keep mine on red because my other trinkets, like all of these lights and these lights all light up red, so it just matches. All right, um, here's the little shifty thing. It can go in like manual mode if you wanted to do that. Uh, same cup holder coasters I've had since forever. And here I have essentials of lip gloss, um, hand cream, perfume, and uh, hand sanitizer. I, and I use that all the time. Um, here's my keys. 
If they're not in my bag, then they're right here. I never took this thing off, so it's there. And I have an aux down here, but my radio is Bluetooth. Um, so you just turn it on, I'm gonna turn it down, and you can go to media, and it's Bluetooth audio. Sorry, my Bluetooth kicked on. It's Bluetooth audio, so I don't need like the aux or anything. Um, so yeah, I have my events, you know, basic stuff. Uh, I do have seat warmers. This is something I need. Um, with me having a heart condition, it's really hard for me to regulate my temperature. So I'm always cold, always. Like, it's it's 59 degrees outside. Okay, it's April. It is, that's freezing to me. Um, but all last week it was 80 and I was still kind of cold. But anyways, um, here I do have uh, two glove boxes. I have my handicap permit thing. Like I said, I do use a wheelchair. Um, I have poop bags. I have extra scents for my scent up here. This is really cute. It's a palm tree. Um, and I think in there I have tikiki coconut and these ones are ocean breeze and tiki beach i have a little thing of sunscreen and more spray perfume um down here i just have my dog's goggles and some flowers um beans i have beans i gotta take them out um and i have my car manual here's eeyore here's my winnie pool and i have another poop bear right there um and yeah so up here this is how you put the roof down and i will just demonstrate that in a second there is literally a dog barking so forgive that but you just hold that button all the windows come down and the roof unlocks and it will ding and for me to put it back up you just hold it again the roof comes up takes um 10 seconds or something like that it locks it dings again and then the windows come up and that's how you put the roof up and down um i'm gonna show you the outside please forgive the background noise but here's the outside it has tinted windows um and the black top it has a spoiler that is two-toned and to open the trunk you push the emblem in and you lift it open i have a blanket my wheelchair wheels my dog's car harness because she does buckle up when the top is down my motor to my wheelchair and her service dog vest um and just a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff honestly um but it looks like this it has keyless entry, so I don't even need the keys to open the car. I just go up to it. All right. I don't know where I left off, but, um, so like I was saying, you just go up to it. First to lock it, you press this button. I mean, it's no button. I don't know what's in there, a chip maybe. And for me to open it, I just put my hand here and it opens. Um, pretty cool. I have the classic rims and stuff. And the front of it is so cute. It just looks like this. Um, yeah, I really like it. I will post a picture of what it looks like with the top down right here. Okay, so that was my car. It's not like nothing big and fancy. It's exactly what I wanted, however. Um, if you guys don't know, I've been driving. This is my third Volkswagen Beetle. Um... So I've been driving a Beetle for over 10 years and I, when I, I am going to turn my car on though. And I'm going to roll the window down. Alright. Um, when I knew I was in need of another car, there was nothing else came to my mind than another Volkswagen Beetle. Um, I've, I, it was not a topic for discussion. I knew this is what I wanted. I knew I wanted a yellow one. Um, and I knew I wanted all the touchscreen and push to start and all that stuff. Um, which is funny. If you drive a Volkswagen Beetle, um, let me know. Because I wasn't shopping for them. I was looking at 2017s and 2016s and just a bunch of different model years. 
and this is a 2013 but it has like the touchscreen radio the keyless touch thing with the door um push a start bluetooth all that that the other newer models did not have let me know but um yeah i was even i even got the chance to look at a uh denim version which if you guys know your volkswagen you know that that is a limited edition bug and it was made by levi so like the interior kind of looked like a levi jean uh, you know a lot of people wouldn't be into it but needless to say um this is the one i wanted and i got it and i'm proud of it um her name is winnie i don't know if i said that um she's yellow like winnie the pooh um, but I think her aesthetic might change. I don't know. A lot of people ask if I'm going to put the flowers on it like I did the last beetle. Um, and honestly, I don't know. I like how it looks without it. It looks more sporty. Like I said, it's lower. The tires are bigger. Um, it just looks more sporty. And I don't know. I don't know if I outgrew that. I honestly don't know. I might change my mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like it. Um, and I wanted a black top. I did not want a cream color top for, if you guys look at my buying my dream car video, I explained all that. So this is exactly what I wanted. And then some, um, it drives really smooth. It feels like it's floating. I never drove a car this smooth before. So I kind of like, oh, I'm going like that fast. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Follow my Instagram at WTF Shelby. That's where I post a lot of dog stuff. If you guys want to see more like Volkswagen stuff and like my personal life, follow my 2.0 page, WTF Shelby 2.0. And until then, bye for now.